what's going on guys dr brute 7 signing in back with another tutorial video regarding the playstation vita if you haven't followed my playstation vita the jailbreak guide you can do so by following the link in the description or clicking somewhere here i'm going to show you guys a homebrew app that is going to be very essential for the playstation vita so in order to acquire the app just run vita deploy go to app downloader and select pkgj this is the app that is going to change your life go ahead and download the selected app now we're going to just install the app okay so the app has been successfully installed after exiting vita shell you're going to see pkgj bouncing on the title screen all excited for you to execute let's go ahead and run pkgj no items try to refresh so here we're going to hit on triangle and then we're going to select refresh let it refresh the database it's going to take a little bit of time okay so you have access to a whole list of wonders okay so the latest jailbreak files they come in bundled with a lot of additional plugins that is going to allow you to run backups but just to be on the safe side i'm going to help you guys with some steps just in case if your backups are not running after installing them on your jailbroken playstation vita just download this app i'm going to put the link in the description download this vpk file and then connect your playstation vita using vita shell press the select button and it's going to say usb connected and on the screen you can see that it just popped up just go into downloads i like to keep my downloads into a folder organized so after this is going to be the download the .vpk file auto plugin 2 just copy and paste it into the downloads folder after that just disconnect the playstation vita and go into uxo and hover your pointer into the downloads folder and here you can see auto plugins 2.vpk we're going to go ahead and install it Okay, so after installation, just exit Vita Shell, and here you can see Auto Plugin 2. Just head over to Auto Plugin 2. Okay, so here on the main screen, Vita Plugins and Install Plugins. Here, just hover down just in case you're unable to run PlayStation Portable backups or the Vita backups or PlayStation Mobile backups, or any of those things. The first that I'm going to download here, no NPDRM by the official flow itself, either one of them. And as you can see, the green check mark means that it's already been downloaded. No PSM DRM. So this is the PlayStation Mobile games, just in case you want to play those games so you can just download it. I'm going to go ahead and do that. It shows all the features. Press on X install and it has been installed so here on the top right corner of the screen you might have uxo or uro uh, you can change that by pressing the r1 or l1 button for me i have all the files on uro so it's that's the one that's selected for the system files and everything so yeah that's it after installing those we're just going to exit the auto plugin. If any kind of issues are caused by the plugins, then press and hold the L button while booting or when H Encore is installing, that will disable the plugin. We are back into PKGJ. This is basically the place where you get all the backups and stuff. And yeah, if you want to change the menu, you can change it through here by selecting the PSX games. And it's going to show all the PSX games, PSP games, PSM games for the one which we installed the plugins for whichever game that you want to download just hit on X and It's downloading now. It's going to show on the uh, right here underneath Additionally for some games you can also see it here being downloaded and also installing so if you get this message the PSM runtime package is required and when you're trying to install it through the system there is another way that is through pkgj hit on triangle and the very first option select search and on the search window just type run time hit on enter 
PlayStation Mobile Runtime Package, Install Game and Patch, queued in the live area. If it says that waiting to install that status, just disregard that, Do not you do not need to worry about it, just select the game that you want to run, the download the PlayStation Mobile game and hit on Start. And there you go, the runtime package has been installed. So this is how you install PKGJ. Make sure that you don't get any errors through Auto Plugin 2 and run the PlayStation Mobile games through the runtime package. I'm going to show you guys a lot of the plugins that the essential plugins that you, you guys are required to install that is going to enhance the Vita jailbreak performance and experience. Stay tuned for that. Next video, I hopefully I'm going to cover Adrenaline. This is the best way of experiencing uh, the PlayStation Portable Gaming. If you like this tutorial, you know what to do, guys. Make sure to drop in a like and subscribe. Until next time, Dr. Root7 signing off. Peace.